Uh, the purpose of this video is, is mainly to show you how to compute the value of uh, an annuity, ordinary annuity, uh, could be a deferred annuity or sometimes called tax sheltered annuity. And uh, to remind you that uh, it's uh, never too early to uh, begin planning for, for retirement. So uh, you got a uh, regular job, uh, you could have your regular retirement. Uh, most, most employees will have a uh, system set up for uh, contributing money to a retirement or pension. Uh, could be to uh, companies like USAA or ING and so forth. Uh, this would be, say, an additional investment for your retirement. So you've got your main plan. This would be uh, a deferred annuity. So basically what you would do is you would initiate a direct deposit from your employer uh, automatically to a savings account. Like I said, it could be to uh, uh, USAA company could be to ING Prudential whatever so let's in this example I, I, I chose say $300 a month uh, and say you start uh, doing this at age 40 you could do it earlier than that but let's just say age 40 uh, for the uh, purpose of this example and say you plan to retire at 65 and let's suppose that the interest rate uh, that you're going to be getting is 3% compounded monthly uh, at this point, it's probably uh, more like one or two percent, but uh, you never know when it's going to go up. Uh, what will the value of the annuity be at the end of the 25 years? In other words, when you're planning to retire, retire, uh, how much will you have in in the savings? Uh, this supplemental supplemental uh, retirement plan. This is not your main pension, okay? Uh, so uh, I'm going to do it two ways. One way is uh, just basically use your formula. So. Uh, a here is equal to P, and then you have parentheses 1 plus I to the nth minus 1, all divided by I. P here is the payment that you're making monthly, so in this case it's going to be, say, $300. I is the interest rate compounded, in this case, 12 times a year, so it's uh, 0.03 divided by 12. And the number of payments in is going to be 300, okay? That's going to be... Uh, 25 years, 12 payments per year, so it's 25 times 12. That's 300. So the value that you that you get is 133,802.35. Now I'm going to show you how to get that just uh, on a regular calculator. I'm using a graphing calculator, but I'm not going to use the financial program that comes with it. Uh, you can use a regular financial calculator. Uh, I'm just going to use the formula that I have here to show you how you could do it. Uh, on a regular calculator, scientific calculator. So let's, let's just do the part inside the parentheses here. So I'll put parentheses, and then it's going to be 1 plus, and then it's the interest rate point zero three divided by 12, because it's compounded monthly. That's 12 periods per year. I divide this by 12. And then I put uh, parentheses here and then n in this case uh, the exponent so that would be 300 so that would be 300 and then uh, I'm doing the numerator part of this this thing in the parentheses so that's going to be minus 1 and I hit enter so that gives me that value and then that's going to be divided by the interest rate converted okay so that will be uh, divide that in, so, so I just divide, divide by parentheses, 0 0.03, divide by 12, okay, let's see, annual rate divided by 12, because it's compounded monthly, and I hit enter, I get that, and then I multiply it by that payment, which is 300, so this will be times 300. And there you have it. So if you uh, decide to invest in a uh, annuity, and like I said, uh, what you want to do is select a, a deferred annuity, sometimes called a, a tax sheltered annuity, because what happens is if you do that, you don't pay you you don't you don't pay any tax income tax on that until you retire and you start drawing the money. So. Uh, that's that's a good thing here. You don't pay the tax right away until you start withdrawing the money. So if you do that uh, at age 40 uh, and uh, retire at 65, then you would have that uh, amount of 133,802 and 35.
since. Now, let me show you how to compute it another way using a financial program. So in this one, if I hit uh, the apps here, uh, finance, so I hit enter, and I'm going to use the uh, first program number one there, TVM, uh, stands for time value of money. Uh, so I hit enter, and then N, enter N, the number of uh, payments for this case is going to be 300, so type that in. And then on the next one, uh, the interest rate is uh, 0 0.03. So I just put, uh, I put 3 because it's going to convert. So instead of 0 0.03, just put the 3 here. Okay. And then the uh, present value, we skip that, just leave that blank. And the payment that we're making is uh, $300 a month. So enter the 300. And uh, in, this, in this case, I enter a negative 300. So negative 300 because it's money going out okay so I entered negative 300 and what I want is I want the future value okay which is next which is uh, the next one but I leave that blank for now and then what I do is on, on P per year this is the number of periods per year so we're doing compounded monthly so I put type in a 12 and then the next one also goes to 12 automatically and then I go back to future value. So right there I want to find uh, the future value of this uh, annuity. So I hit the alpha key right here, okay, alpha right there, and then enter over here, and there you get it. There you have it rather. 133,802 and 35 cents. So 133,802 dollars and 35 cents now if you if you leave the if you leave the negative out here and make it a, a, a uh, positive 300 all that happens is here you get a negative okay so if you, you can just ignore the negative if you want okay but e either way uh, it's 133,802 and 35 cents uh, just as an example if you decide if you decide to do this earlier okay so let's say uh, you get a good job at age 25 and you've got your main pension set up and you want to supplement uh, additional cash when you retire and you do the same thing okay but this time at age 25 so in this case uh, the number of uh, payments would be 480 okay because that's 40 times 40 years times 12 Okay, you're starting at 25, you're trying at 65, so that's 40 times 12 is 480. So in this case, N will be 480, and the payment is still the same. Let's assume the interest rate is still the same. Uh, so if you start at age 25, uh, your total value for that particular annuity is going to be 277,817 and 85 cents. Okay, so that's that's the difference. Uh, if you start at age 25, 277,817 and 85 cents. So, like I said, uh, it's never too early to start thinking about uh, retirement. So that concludes this video. So uh, again, uh, these are making sense to you and helping you. Please uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.